champions of the last ever floor in London Marathon, uh, and Irina, having had the chance to sleep on your victory. Um, after the race yesterday, you said um, it was maybe harder coming back as champion, there was a bit more pressure on you. Um, but on reflection, it did look quite an easy win. Was it easy? Um, well, actually, I slept worse this time before the race. Just I was more excited um, about it. And it was my second victory here, and it even meant more to me than the last one. Um, I'm happy that I was able to win under pressure, because it was quite a lot of pressure I had. Um, but I really want to thank the Bureau of Mental Marathon organizers, because they really do everything for the athletes. And even things that mean a lot to us, like the weather. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a great race week for me. Irina, I read um, yesterday that uh, you spoke to your daughter last night and she said um, during the race she wanted her to run faster so she, she, she could get home and sleep quicker. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's right. And um, after when, we call, uh, when she called me, she asked, well, now you have won, so you have to come back home quicker because you ran quicker, right? And then she couldn't really understand why um, I, have, I have to tell her that, well, I have to stay an extra day here, kind of. And so she always said, like, well, I feel like because then you should have come quicker at home, sooner at home. And, um, but my older son, he understands that. And uh, he was so happy for me. And they watched it on TV. And so I don't know what I'm, I have to expect when I get home. A celebration planned, or will you just take a quiet family holiday? What's, what's going to happen in the next two weeks? Well, actually, last week it was my husband's birthday, so we couldn't obviously not really celebrate it. But now we can celebrate his birthday, <coughs> my victory, so it will be a good celebration. Marina, for you, of course, competing back home in Berlin in, in front of. Um, the home crowd, you'll go into the World Championships with, with more confidence than ever. It's a four lap course, I think it's on the, on the website that you can drill through to from the IAAF, you can actually see the course for the World Championships. Um, you'll be training with a little bit, uh, a little bit more inspiration these next, next 12, 14 weeks. Well, of course, the World Championships at home, kind of home, it means something very special to me to have that um, in our country, in my home country. Um, of course, it means a lot of pressure for me. Um, but I learned that you can also train to handle the pressure. pressure. And um, I will now take a couple of days rest, just relax a little bit, and then go back to training. I think the last time we had a, a, a woman, a lady athlete, win three times in a row, it was Catherine Doran of Germany. Um, <coughs> Are we fairly confident we can see you back here next year to go for that same feat, a third one in a row, and maybe, maybe as world champions? <laughs> Question for you, David. Yeah, good. Of course, um, it was my first and second marathon, London marathon, and I really like it, and I think it's like kind of a lucky city for me, and I really want to come back and try it, and who knows? You never know. Question for Irina. Um, with the performance yesterday of Mara and with the prospect of Paula Ratchet being fit for Berlin, do you think Britain will pose the biggest threat to you in the World Championships? Okay, of course they're um, a big threat for us. Um, I've seen what Mara was able to do here in London. And also Paula is very strong, so there are two good girls for the marathon um, in Berlin. <coughs> but now it comes down to who prepares best for Berlin. And I know that I will prepare very well. So, and as Mara had here, the home advantage, I will have it in Berlin. So we'll see.